What's up guys? I'm Sean Morgan. Uh, it's time to take you on my 2014 mule deer hunt up in Wyoming. Uh, this was a buck I was able to take on the rifle hunt. Uh, and I want to take a couple of minutes and show you some footage of this deer that I, uh, that I took on the archery season. And you know, I chased him for six days up there in the high country of Wyoming and you know, wasn't fortunate enough to get an arrow in him. But it was a good adventure and it was, it was nice to get back up there and, and handle business with the rifle. Uh, overall, great experience. and. You know, here's some footage of this deer, and uh, after that, we'll go to the hunt. So it's rifle season now, just so you guys know what's going on. Um, I set the camera beside me, that way you guys can see what I see and uh, here's what happens next. Like that. Oh boy, we just got a mule deer. <laughs> He's dead. He's down. <laughs> All right. We just got a mule deer. This is that three by four? Um, I chased him on the archery hunt, um, just up a little bit higher in this in the same basin, which is pretty cool. I got up on top of the mountain up here, up on these cliffs, glassed down into this basin, and uh, there that there the three by four was just bedded down, um, just right here in this patch of pine trees. Um, by the time I made it, it was about 5:30ish, five o'clock, 5:30. I made it. Um, by the time I made it down here, um, this is about. 200 yards right here um, he actually got up out of his bed and he moved probably about 50 yards um, to the uh, the east and um, I was glad I could relocate him because he's heading to a, a thick patch of, of pine trees and I wouldn't have been able to see him and fortunately as you see I, I got my uh, my digiscope set up and you, you saw me um, kill that buck he saw me that first shot just, just smoked him um, he ran off maybe another 
uh, 50 yards back to where I originally saw him and he uh, he piled up. I, I shot him three times. The first time I couldn't, I couldn't tell if I hit it. And I, and I, I'm no rifle hunter. I'm, a, I'm an archery hunter, so um, I just let him have it until he fell. But uh, um, other than that, Wyoming, it's big country. It's, it's, it's tough. I've seen a couple larger bucks, but you know, overall, I really like this buck. This is my first 30 inch buck. And um, he, he's gonna look good on the wall. And um, should be a, an okay, an, an average pack out which is nice, you know, if I would have killed him way back further, it'd been even harder, and I'm, I'm by myself, solo. And uh, yeah, this buck is dead, and let's go get him. Let's go, uh, let's go see what he looks like. All right, so that's, uh, that patch of pine trees is where he originally was, and he moved over here in that clearing by that big rock you'll see in the video. Um, that's where he was and then after shot him he ran back down the same spot right, right back in those patch of pine trees and I know as you can tell I'm excited all right we're uh, we're down to my buck he's just right here he's in the 10 yards he's, he's piled up uh, I just want to show you those cliffs um, so those are the cliffs I was up on top of and um, pretty much on that peak glassing down and all these um, these really rugged basins there's a lot of rock slides um, pine tree just patches um, it is super crunchy you know this time of year all this grass is just super crunchy there's almost no way to get down in here and just be quiet even in socks it's, it's just difficult I tried um, but basically you know just being smart you know staying up high on those cliffs just glassing down I seen him I don't know exactly where he was bedded but he's bedded it's actually somewhere right right in here honestly and fed up that way, shot him, came right back down, and I'll, I'm gonna show you right here, right where he's at. Well, I glassed a deer up from those cliffs, shot him from that patch of pine trees in the middle, down this way, it's pretty cool, his area, he, uh, there's a lot of water in here, it's really awesome, but uh, it's time to walk up on my buck, so he's just right over here, and we'll go look at him. And there he is. Oh, crap, check that out, look at that. Somebody's Nikon rifle cap right there, right by my deer. And there's my buck. Here's my uh, 2014 Wyoming mule deer. I can hit him pretty darn well. That's uh, that's the exit wound. Might be a little touch low, but still good. Oh man, just wanted to take a last little bit. The sun's going down, and uh, just do a, a quick, just summary of my buck and uh, kind of the story took place. Snuck within, you know, snuck, you know, within 200 yards. Pretty simple coming from an archery hunter, coming out to be a, you know, a rifle hunter. It's, you know, I didn't have to worry too much about scent control, and I'm not as strict as I usually am, but um, it all came together. This is a fantastic buck. I'm really happy. I, I can't, I, I love him. He's awesome, but um, he's basically a, he's a three by four. Well, I guess he's a technically a 4x4, four four, but he's a, basically a 3x4 frame. Four point here, a little, little hook right here, kind of cool. Um, good eye guards, uh, hook cheater right there, makes him a 4 point. You know, I'm, I'm hoping he goes 30 inches wide, I, I'd assume he is. He looks pretty darn wide to me, at least, but good main beam length. Old buck, you know, just overall, just a... Uh, very happy and I'm glad I you know could have um, taken the chance to you know video this hunt and show you guys you know kind of what I do and kind of tactics and stuff and because some of the archery hunts are they're just so hard but you know this rifle I, I barely made it happen I, I was so tempted to not film it 
but I'm glad I did. Um, I just set it up and, you know, it was, it was fun. It was a good adventure. Now the, now the work begins. I'm all by myself, about four and a half miles back in the Wyoming high country, and now I gotta quarter them out and get them all out myself. But fortunately, the weather's been pretty cool. It's only got up to about 70 degrees up here, and um, right around 40 degrees in the morning. But uh, this is my buck. This is my Wyoming 2014 mule deer, high country.